When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, sincerely today, I was like, you know what? I want a cute but casual hairstyle that's not a sassy bun. Claw clip mayhem. Today, you guys, I am very excited to finally make a video about this website. I feel like my discovery of this website was probably about like a year and a half to maybe even two years ago because y'all, this little thing is an item that I was on the quest for since I don't even know, like 2005 or, or maybe even earlier than that. This is the little like brain worms that just get stuck in my head. It's supposed to be a ghost detection keychain and it has like a little, this thing like supposedly flashes like when a ghost is present and it has a cute little ghost. Um, and and then like just one of those strap keychains and y'all I I need to like take this thing out and actually see if it will even turn on there was this one and then one that's supposed to detect aliens as well I've been on the quest for that one but basically I've never been able to find one of these over all of the years for anything cheaper than like three hundred dollars and then suddenly I found a listing on Makari in Japan for like I don't even know like fifteen dollars but you can't, unfortunately, just shop directly here in the States for like Makari Japan, Yahoo Auctions and Shopping Japan, Rakuten Japan. There's a bunch of other websites. Basically, like that's how I discovered Baiyi, which is a Japanese shopping proxy service. So you can actually go in and buy like individual listings and all of that and then just have it shipped to you in the States. And then Baiyi basically acts as like like as if you have a Japanese mailing address. So I thought today would make a great banana peppers video because what I got today, which you guys, oh my gosh, I already, I had to just dig through the box and find this item. I sincerely cannot believe that this is something that exists. These are the little things that fill me with joy. I was looking for Slappy the Dummy keychains, but what I got was this. He's technically supposed to be Charlie McCarthy, which I don't know how many of y'all know who Charlie McCarthy is, but he was like a very famous ventriloquist dummy. I don't even know like full Charlie McCarthy lore. I just know who it is because like, thankfully y'all have sent me lots of Charlie McCarthy items like through Swamp Family Mail over the years, like little Charlie McCarthy puppets and dolls. But yeah, they quite apparently had a whole Gashpon set at one time that was Charlie McCarthy, <laughs> the mouth opens and closes. It's just a highly realistic little keychain and yada yada. Look at him talk. And then there's a little lever. It's like identically the shade of his hair. So it's probably a little bit hard to see. It's like a little bit like hard to move sometimes. I feel like whoever owned this before like didn't move it much. First envelope. What is the shipping service? This is so cute. This for some reason reminded me of Guitar Hero. You guys, I missed that game. Game. Like, look at how nice this is wrapped up. This is hide figure key holder. I don't, y'all, if this is like something super famous, I'm sorry that I don't know what it is, but I ordered it for this. And there was a ton of these little guitar keychains that started coming up. And I picked this one. Oh yeah, look, I don't know if y'all can tell or not. Here's all the pictures on the back. So yeah, I feel like that is what I'm kind of really into collecting right now is vintage or older phone mobile straps. Still like the super highly realistic Gashapon because it's all like basically the same thing in my mind, like uh, the super highly realistic miniatures. All right, you guys, look at how cute this is. So it has a guitar pick and then look at this little guitar. And I think I literally paid like $3 for this. 
This is honestly so cute. Y'all, I really feel like I want to bring back like mobile straps this year. I feel like this is like somehow the eighth time I've talked about this. But yeah, just like how cute is this? Next little envelope. Y'all, this truly like mystifies me, honestly, how they get all of these items like together with your order. So the other thing that I actually found was a couple of listings where I could get several gash pond that I was interested in in one listing. So that looks like, oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, I wanted this one for a really long time. They're called Tough Gummies. I don't 100% know what these are because it is like a food stuff, a real, a real brand in Japan, but I've never had them. But it just looks like a gummy pouch. There's even like a little squishy thing in it. It's a keychain. This I have been seeing everywhere on Instagram because I follow a couple Gashpon accounts. I don't know what candy this is. And it definitely sounds like there's something rattling around in here. It looks like a lifesaver. I don't know what it is. You definitely can't open that. So I guess it's just kind of like a little fidget thing. It has three parts like a rement. But let's see what this is. Some kind of noodle dish, I think. Ramen maybe? Oh my god, yeah. Look, you can open it up and there's ramen in there. I think these are like supposed to be the flavor packets for the ramen, which is so cute. I'm trying to like ooch them out. Yeah, these are like they're not hard plastic, but they're like that wax coated or plastic coated paper. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to just put your two little seasoning packets inside your little tiny ramen keychain and it just makes it a little bit more real. See, this is like why I'm spoiled when it comes to like mini brands and stuff. Like this is why I'm like, they could make it a little bit realer. Cause like, look at that, that's so cute. And the lid actually stays on like really nicely. So you probably like wouldn't lose your little mini flavor packets. Look, it's more of the cute little cat shipping thing. I don't even know. Let's see what, oh yeah. I thought this was like so cool and it is like a massive fidget keychain. But look at this. This actually came with this like super cute little note. And sometimes I use Google Translate on these just cause I'm curious like what is all handwritten on the back. But look at this. It's like a game controller keychain. Y'all, I literally remember I paid like $3 for this. So it has a carbiner clip and like another little keychain like this. But like, look at this. Like it's an old style joystick. But like, look at how pleasing the fidget is on that. Like. Oh my gosh, and it's so portable. Up next, I don't know. See, I already like ripped open the tops because I was looking for, I was looking for Slappy. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a gash bond. I kinda, it's, it's completely taped and sealed up. I'm just gonna insert a photo, even though I kinda hate to spoil it, but I got this for us to do one of the ASMR style unboxings, but it's little rubber gloves. And you're supposed to actually be able to open the box and get the miniature rubber gloves out of the box and they're actually supposed to be squishy mini rubber gloves. I have to open that like today. So stay tuned. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is the thing that Slappy was in. It just came uh, with a, a piece of cardboard, I guess for extra protection. Okay. Let's see who is in here. This is like so wrapped up. I can't even tell. What is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I thought this would be like so fun to have a miniature of. It came in a set of two and these were Gashpon at one point in time. I don't know when. They're tiny steering wheel keychains with real actual sound. So it looks like some assembly is required because you have to attach the steering wheel. What is it focusing on? What QP is it focusing on? Look, okay, so we'll assemble one and we'll save one. We'll assemble this one. These had to be like pretty large gash eggs, but here's the little steering wheel. And then, ah, I dropped it. 
Um, and then here is like the steering wheel base. And I am immediately more excited for any Gashbon that is a keychain or something I feel like I could easily turn into a keychain. Because once again, like my Ita bag, I should have just brought it in here. Like it's a clear section and I pin everything to the front. And so it's so much easier if it's a keychain. So like, yeah, look at this, you guys. You can actually push it and turn the little steering wheel. I just feel like these are the most amazing fidgets ever created. So let's pop this thing out. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Next. What is it? Oh, okay. This is the one that started it all. Cause that's usually how I start shopping on Baiyi again, is there will be something that I really want that I find for incredibly cheap on Baiyi. And then I'll make an order. And then I feel like it's kind of wasteful to pay for shipping for just one item. He is a punk cupie. Oh my God. I thought all the little clothes would be plastic. They are not. Look at this. So he's a little punk cupie. Look at all his clothes, all his clothes are fabric. He has a little bangle bracelet. The green mohawk is actually flocked and fuzzy. He's got earrings. He's got it all. So you can see like a lot of times I will buy these little things and the listing will say a little damaged or dirty. But I think that like literally that's what they mean by like a little damaged and dirty. But y'all I really do think I'm gonna start actually maybe carrying some phone charms again because I do have this thing. Where is my phone? Um, I do have this thing on the bottom that I always have this very plain strap hanging off of so that I don't drop my phone every single day. But I feel like I could start like clipping some little phone charms like off of this thing. And I feel like this would be so perfect. So that's why it kind of like doesn't matter to me if it's a little damaged and dirty because literally if you use it like a phone charm, it's going to be a little damaged and dirty anyway. But like like, oh my gosh. It's so adorable, truly. All right, next envelope. Y'all, some of these, they feel like there's nothing inside of them. I guess I didn't actually open this one yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen these for the longest and I'm maybe trying to find the planet gummy one as well. Oh, I'm like scared. I'm like cutting into the actual charm. So I believe that these, the style is actually called Shaka Shaka charms. It's like the ones that make noise because they have something like suspended inside of them. But you guys look, these are supposed to be the eyeball gummies. Now all the eyeballs are like turned around the other way. So hopefully if I just shake them up, a lot. I can get some of the eyes to like spin around, but how cute is that? So they have this one and then they have some that look like planet gummies, but the only one that I found for like a reasonable price, cause that's the only weird thing is like, sometimes you'll see people selling these for like $2. Sometimes that will be like $40 for one random keychain, And I'm like, that's a little silly. So the only like planet earth gummy one I found so far, like it was busted at the top, like the part that makes it an actual keychain. So I was like, well, that's kind of silly. So hopefully, eventually, I can find Planet Earth gummy keychain as well. I like those two because those are like specifically the ones that I've tried before. Y'all, this once again feels like an envelope full of nothing. Let's see what's inside. Y'all, I've been talking way too much. I hope y'all wanted a really long video today. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, this is like very interesting. I also feel like the packaging that you get is just kind of like a junk journaler's dream. Like. It's a little pouch made out of plastic and craft paper. This is one I have also wanted for a, a super long time. It is like a super soaker, a mini super soaker keychain, like still in the plastic packaging, but like super realistic. There were actually so many in this set that I thought were cute, like lots of different colors and also like water buckets, mini super soakers. So cute. Next envelope. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that little packaging. It's so cute to see like what individual, like a lot of times they are wrapped up with wasabi tape and it's always fun to see like the different little strips of tape you're gonna get. I'm trying to just reach in here. Y'all, this is so cute. Oh, these like feel like they're gonna feel so realistic. I probably cannot say this 
shoe brand very well, Haviana's, you know, the flip flop brand. So they came out with tiny little Gashpon keychains and there were so many different colors and designs to choose from that I had a hard time picking. But y'all, okay, so at first I was like, oh, these are the orange and black ones for Halloween. But then upon closer inspection, they're not just orange and black, they have butterflies. Like that's what the orange is, is like butterfly wing design. Literally how cute are these? And they actually feel like they have like texture to them, like real flip-flop texture. All right, so, oh my gosh, yeah. This is like so interesting. It is a miniature mannequin phone strap. I like literally just came upon this randomly and I thought it was so cute. And I'm pretty sure it's actually for a store that I've never heard of. <gasps> There's like a base too. Oh my gosh. So you can like actually stand it up and display it. But the brand is called Peach John. I've never heard of that brand, but like, look at this. It kind of reminded me of like Y2K Victoria's Secret pink vibes, but like, it's just a pink mannequin phone strap. Guys, I, I know this is gonna sound odd. I love mannequins. I think it's like a Twilight Zone theme. If you guys have ever seen the episode where the girl is like a mannequin. So I feel like this one I actually paid a little bit more for. I guess it's like more rare or something. And there was like literally only one of them, but I think I paid like $7 for this one. That's so interesting. Like the little feet slide in. So I guess you could take this keychain portion off if you wanted, or maybe to even make it look more realistic, like cause mannequins have bases, carry it like that. Now this doesn't really feel like super, like it won't pop off, you know? I don't think I would carry it like a phone charm with the base. Cause I feel like that would just be gone in five seconds. All right, you guys, I don't know how many more items we have. Oh yeah, okay, so one of these I want to open like mini ASMR style, but I did, this is like one of the rare times where I could literally get the whole Gashpon set for like $1 more than paying for just an individual one. These are like literally called butt books. Look, I'll just show you guys this one because it's like literally. So some of the titles are real, like Alice in Wonderland or Snow White or The Emperor's New Clothes. But then this one is just like a fake book, but it's just so literally funny to me. So they're missing the little like ball chain straps, but like whatever. But look at this. It's a book with arms and legs. And then the book opens up, doesn't it? Yes. So the back cover of the book opens and there's a butt. <laughs> like what? I don't, I don't know. So yeah, it's just kind of funny to me. This is a huge set of Gashpon. Some of them I might save because I feel like this video has got to be like so long. Oh my gosh. But look, I don't even think I honestly know everything that came in this listing. Oh, I wonder if this is like an incomplete set. I will just show you guys this one because this is the one that was basically like the thermos thing I was telling you guys about where like I don't need like eight of the nearly same identical miniature thermoses. But I did want this little guy for a long time. So it's supposed to be like if you go to a theme park and you get like those cute little popcorn buckets that look like characters or something. And this purple one is actually the one I wanted anyway. I think that that's basically what this is, is like the purple one or the blue one from each of these uh, Gashapon sets. This looks like a squirrel to me, but maybe, maybe it's not meant to be a squirrel. So I actually don't know if the pieces are in here because it is supposed to really open. And there was a set of tiny candies but there's like a little photo album. It looks like there's some chairs or something. These may even be like some remint sets. I don't even know what this is, you guys. This like winds up. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look, it came with literally all the paper inserts from the Gashpon eggs. So I will hopefully 
be able to figure it all out. But yeah, it does not look like the candies are included. This was another Gashpon set. So I think like literally the most expensive set I bought was like eight or nine dollars. But several of these sets I was able to get for like five dollars and it literally has all of these items in it. So the reason that I bought this set was, look, it even comes with like a box. What is this? I don't know. This almost looks like a remint box, but I guess it had one of these miniatures inside of it. But the reason that I bought this set was for these two really miniature cameras. So once again, I will show you guys one of them right now. Let's look at the gray one. I think they are supposed to flash and make um make a like photo taking sound. But once again, I just feel like these are the best fidgets ever. They look so realistic. And even if the sound or something doesn't work, like you can still push. Oh, okay. So it just glows. No sound, unfortunately, but you push a button and like, just look at how cute that is. It's like a vintage style disposable camera, a miniature gash pond vending machine miniature. And that's in there, but I feel like that'll make a really good like ASMR style video. And then this is a miniature soda vending machine, but we'll see if the mini gash pond eggs or the mini sodas are actually in here. And then this, I guess, is what came in that box packaging I showed y'all, but I am not, I'm not sure if this is like a Gundam or something. It's wrapped in saran wrap almost. Oh, Ultraman. I don't know what this is. Hello. It almost looks like a moon base or something like a, cause it has like this, which looks like a rocky planet surface, a mini gash pond set that came out like a year or so ago, but it was supposed to be a miniature ID. And then it has a base like this and you swipe it and it lights up and makes a sound. So I always used it in my videos, like my miniature ASMR videos. I used it as a credit card machine because it was so similar. But then I found that they actually have miniature credit card machines. So it comes with this little card and maybe y'all can hear there's like a little chip or something in there. I honestly do not know how these work. So this one just says credit card. And then you have this reader machine and you tap. I don't know if y'all can see. It does actually light up. I think we have two envelopes left and then one larger Shrek item, which it's so funny because I feel like that was one of the least expensive items I got was this Shrek figure that I found, but I'm pretty sure he was the most expensive to ship because he came in like a larger box. That's the only downside is like through Bai -E, you can't message, or at least I haven't found a way, you can't like message the sellers like in the same way as if you were buying on like Poshmark here in the States or like Macari or something. Cause like personally, I would probably just say like ship the figure, no box. Cause I'm not like a, a box type person. I'm so excited for these. I've wanted one of these minis forever. I don't remember what the whole set was, but it was always like some of the most expensive gash pond or miniature sets. And I like literally basically only wanted this one. So it's a teeny tiny turntable and you open it up. It comes with a teeny tiny vinyl record that I think you should at least be able to set on to the turntable. So here we go. It's like just a vinyl record, no label or anything. So you can actually scoot the needle over, load the record on, and then you can kind of spin it. <laughs> but once again, it's just so cute, you know? Like I don't 100% like have a vision for the mini video that I will make this, like that I will We'll include this in, but I've wanted it for a really long time. And I think once again, I found that listing for like $2. So I was like, I will gamble like whether I use that in another video or not for that. Oh my God. Yeah. So this 
was a little bit trickier to order because I think some of the words in the listing was making this come up as a prohibited item. That's the only other downside, you guys. There's so much fragrances on Baye that I wish I could order. And it's even like secondhand fragrances. So some of the bottles are like a little bit used. But y'all, I have found some incredible like older vintage fragrances on there. And literally people are only charging like $6 for the whole dang bottle. But unfortunately you cannot order fragrances. I don't know why. Because there's another website that I have used in the past, but they are so expensive that I order from there pretty infrequently, but it's called Japan Trend Shop. And you can have fragrances shipped from Japan that way. So I don't know why not on Baiyi, but I'm sure you guys can see why this came up as a prohibited item. I thought it was maybe going to be a little bit smaller than this, you guys, but it's supposed to be a little miniature car air freshener. And there were a bunch of different designs you could get. And honestly, I do wish it was like the little mini real tree, but I don't think they've ever made minis like that. But this is the kind of stuff that I just love so much because it looks so real. It looks like a real little air freshener. And I just think it's so cute. Hey guys, the grand ogre finale. See, this is when I wish I could like communicate with the seller because honestly, you guys, this box is disgusting. It looks like it's had water damage or something. It's like really, it is, it is really gross. Now this is from 2002, but I'm starting to wonder like, is this bootleg? I've never ever seen this figure before in my life. Like I have a growing collection of rare, weird, random Shrek items. You guys know I love Shrek. And so, yeah, but I would have definitely said just send the figure because it's like a vinyl figure. So I feel like even if it smells bad or something, like just wash it, you know, but this box is like, this box is so nasty. I'm definitely immediately throwing it away, but his face, you guys, priceless. Now, honestly, I did kind of envision like taking the head off and kind of doing, oh my God, y'all, Shrek's been smoking. He's definitely gonna need to air out or something. It's not like the worst smell, but it's definitely, it's not, it's, it's not the best either. So yeah, originally I was gonna take the Shrek head off and like put it on a Barbie doll or something, you know, like the odd body kind of like Furby type things. But now that he's here and I thought he was gonna be like a squishy, like a, like a Barbie head or something. He's not, it's like a hard plastic. So I think I'm just gonna leave him intact because it's honestly like so funny. Like the feet turn but he's actually like pretty detailed but like just why was this face like so derpy and hilarious to me i don't even know there we have it you guys grand finale anyway no long outro i feel like this video has been way too long it has in fact taken me two memory cards to film it all but hopefully if you like long videos hopefully you really enjoyed this today so stay tuned because i do upload all those like short asmr videos videos to YouTube as well as my daily Snapchat. And I've been thinking about actually like combining and making like a large video of a lot of my shorter like ASMR style unboxings because sometimes y'all do leave me comments like that where you wish it was like something that went on longer. But when I just do those like little shorts like they can only be up to 60 seconds. So I could group them all together but I'm just like would that even be enjoyable to watch because I do film them all like vertically. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again. Bye.